He anointed Saul as king over Israel because God said so. I remember where I sat when the Lord showed me the vision that produced this government. They can deny it from now till eternity. It doesn't change a thing. The day the Lord showed me the vision clearly. I took two men with me. And we went to England. We got to UK and I said to the president. Your turn to win is here. This is how it will take place. He said I've lifted my hand in public that I will never offer myself again. I said we are changing the world. Because God has showed me how it will happen. Let God be true and every man a liar. Now you can take my name to anywhere and curse me and say, you are the one that brought this man upon us. Was Samuel responsible for Saul or God told him? You know why I'm not overwhelmed by what is happening in Nigeria? You'll find out today. Because I know what you don't know. I'm not overwhelmed, it's not affecting me, and I'm not talking about economic hardship and all that, everybody is feeling that, but I can see the end. I know how it will end. Do you understand me? I know where this train is going, and I know how it will end by the word of the Lord. Let me narrate the vision publicly, because I told him in private, he's about to make it open, and declare it because I fear no one but God. We were in what you call Bolekaja in the vision. Mr. President was on the steering. I was sitting next to him. We were driving towards the elders of the Southwest in order to arrange for a merger. Nasir Arufai was behind me. Lechin Kaudumaki was behind him. And he got to a place. He parked the vehicle. I told him this story in London before the merger process began. On a slope like this, I can show you the place in Abekura. It was a sloppy place like this. And he came out of the vehicle and said, you know what? I'm going to eat myself and I'll be back. And he left. When I saw how sloppy the place was, I said, Nasir, anything can push us here and we will die. Let me repack the car or the vehicle. So I moved to the driver's seat. In order to repark the vehicle, I suddenly realized no steering, no ignition, no pedals, no gear, no handbrake. He took everything down. So now that he has taken everything in his hand, should he overwhelm you? Why don't you wait for the end of the vision? I know what I saw. I kept it to myself. We will all be in the country when you see the captivity turn around in the name of Jesus because this nation will not capsize this nation will not break this nation will not turn into disruption in the name of Jesus when Solomon did not use the power of God he took it from his hand there's nobody bigger or stronger than God he has not created any Franken's monster he cannot handle listen to me as I preach today the fire of God is upon me to consume the works of the wicked in our nation. 